Okay guys, just a quick one for you. Uh, this is GarageBand 10, the current version of GarageBand. And people say you can't make an Apple loop in this GarageBand, uh, this version of it. Well, you can. Okay, here I've got a bit of audio. Okay, it's just a guitar playing a funky lick with a drum beat. Okay, now this is on a, this bit of guitar is on an, a guitar audio track. So, you know, I can change the amp to a different amp. Um, you know, whatever I like. Like, for example, I could go with, um, oh. You know what I mean? Okay, now, um, but the piece of audio on the track is raw. We're just hearing it going through an amp on the track. If I want to hear the raw guitar, I make a mic track. There's a raw audio track with no effects on it, no amp on it, nothing. And if I drag the audio onto that, we hear the clean audio. Right, and then that audio, you put it on a guitar track and whatever guitar your amp is on it, that's the amp you hear, right? So when you make your Apple loop, if you want it to have the guitar sound on it, then put it on a guitar track, set the amp that you want on it. If you want it to be clean audio that you can use and then add any guitar amp to it afterwards. We're talking about if it's a bit of, bit of guitar audio, right? Um, then put it on an, an audio track. What I'm basically saying is that if you put it on a track with effects, whether it's an amp or other effects, if you want those effects to be part of the loop, then you have it on a track with effects, whether it's an amp or whatever other effects. If you want the audio to be clean with no effects, you put it on a raw audio track with no effects, right? Okay. So then the next thing, you've got to get the loop length. Okay, now it must be exactly in bars. Right, it can't be a little bit over a bar or a little bit under a bar. It's got to be either one bar or two bars exactly, or three bars exactly, or four bars exactly, whatever. But it can't be a part of a bar in length. Okay, so I'm going to make it four bars in length like that. Now I'm going to go for the clean audio. I don't want any effects on it, so I drag it onto an audio track with no effects. Right. And then we open up a loops like that. And all you do is you grab the piece of audio and hold it down with the left mouse. You drag it into your Apple loops. Now the region will move like that. When you do this drag, I'm holding that region with my left mouse and dragging it. It looks like it's moving, but it isn't really. Okay. So you just hold down with the left mouse, drag the loop onto your Apple loops there. And the mouse has a green plus next to it. Boom, let go. And this pops up. And notice the region hasn't actually moved. Look, it's, it's where it was. Okay, now you choose whether you're doing a one shot or a loop. This is going to be a loop. I'm going to call it Guitar Funky 4. Okay, and then if you want, you can choose the key, major, minor, or whatever. But the important thing is to choose a category. I'll choose Guitar Electric. And then you can give it one of these if you want. I'll just leave it on single. And that's it. Titled it choose loop or one shot you choose loop if it's something that's going to go round and round obviously a one shot is just a single drum hit or something like that right or um, a, a tom roll or something right um, giving it a category guitar electric guitar and that's it create boom and you get a bit of a beach ball and then whoop, the playhead jumps like that and that's done okay so let's move this piece of audio right out of the way and it'll be in your Apple Loops now, so I go to Guitars. Obviously it's alphabetical, so I'm looking for G for Guitar. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Guitar Funky 4. There it is. Drag it onto an audio track. Boom, like that. Now, I've dragged it onto a raw audio track, so with no effects, so we're listening to the clean audio. Because remember, we made the loop without any effects. But now I can put it on a guitar track and change the guitar sound to anything I want. You know what I mean? So... So 
I'll go with that, double driven. Right, that's it, done. Now this is a loop, so if I change the tempo, let's speed the tempo up to 130, this will speed up. Slow the tempo down, 100 and, it was 110 originally. I'll slow the tempo down to 90. Okay, now look, when you speed up or slow down an Apple loop a lot, you can hear these artifacts. It's not a perfect sound. You hear this kind of warbling sound in there, but you know it works. The other thing is we can pitch this audio now, and again, it doesn't pitch very well, but you just go track, show transposition track. Let's put it back to the original tempo, 110, and there's the transposition line, so I can move it up two semitones, one, two, like that. Let's move it up three semitones. Move it down back to zero. Let's move let's transpose it down now. One two semitones. And I'll also speed it up by ten beats per minute. Yeah, so that's how you do it. That's how you make an upper loop in GarageBand 10. Okay. Uh, I hope that's useful.